now we have to work with our XAMPP server so let's go into our start menu and type XAMPP here now we have our XAMPP control panel right here we need to start our Apache server and MySQL server as well now the next part will be we have to locate our folder where we can easily access our files and that folder will be in our C drive in our XAMPP folder and inside the XAMPP folder you can see we have this folder of htdocs where our files will going to be now before doing anything let's uh, go back to our google chrome and let's see our local host first see we don't have anything in our local host right now because we are not accessing any kind of file right at the moment so move back to our htdocs folder and now I'm going to create one PHP file here with the name of index.php. Now let's open it in Notepad++. Now here we don't have anything right now. So if you want to write any PHP code, you need to define PHP code scope. And that need first this angle bracket, then question mark, then you have to write keyword php and also you have to close this php tag by putting question mark and then this angle bracket now we made our php file successfully we don't have anything right now in this php file so anything we are going to write from line 2 to line 7 will be as php code so before writing anything let's save this one out move back to google chrome let's browse our local host and uh, in here in the folder of htdocs we have created this file of index.php means this whole c xamp htdocs will be our local host and this index.php file will be this file so we have to write local host for this one in our browser we already wrote it localhost and now we have to access our index.php file that is inside our htdocs folder so we have to write here index.php see now nothing is on the screen because we haven't put anything in our index.php file let's for now write one simple php info function that will indicate us whether our php is working fine or not let's save this one out now hit back enter key again now you can see by calling this php info function we successfully have the information of php it means that our local host is working perfect our php is working also very fine and uh, one more thing before moving forward uh, if you don't write anything after local host then our local host will pick up the index file it means that if you don't write or if you don't give path to index file then your server will going to understand your main file means your index file automatically so if i enter localhost without writing index.php file then you will see that my php info function is calling right here see now here i have one more index file and that is html file not php file so if i open it up in our notepad plus plus we don't have anything right now so if i add one php tag right in this file and inside our php tag i add php info function the same one which we saw earlier let's save this one out moving back to chrome now let's access our new file of index.html now you see there is nothing on the screen even though we wrote 
PHP info function in our index.html file but there is nothing in our browser it's just because the file is HTML it's not PHP file so if I add one heading or just a simple text my name is Jazib Akram right here then you will see by refreshing this page that this text is appearing right here but not the PHP info function just because this is not a PHP file it's HTML file so how can we write PHP into our HTML file now that's the question let's solve this one out so now we want to embed our PHP with our HTML so for that we have to create one new file of uh, name example.php right here let's open this file in notepad now for embedding php in our html file first i know you are all familiar with the basic structure of html document we have body and inside that we have one simple h1 tag there is nothing in this file so let's first define our php tag right here we don't have anything right now now let's call this heading my bio let's save this one out let's go to our browser localhost and our file that we just created name is example.php see we have this simple h1 my bio right here if you want to add anything here you can simply do it let's i can write my name is jazib akram let's save this one out refreshing the page see now we have the error on line 9 because we are not writing any html from line 8 to line 13 this file code will be php not the simple text or any kind of html so we have to keep in mind that line 8 to line 13 our code will be php not html so if we want to uh, comment this code we just have to add these two slashes and our code will be skipped from here now let's save this one out refreshing the page see now we don't have any error because we commented so if you want to add any non-essential details in your file you can do it in php by just putting two slash sign before your line and if you have some code like this now this one is also not valid in php i know but if you want to add it on some basis and you want to hide it from the user you can do that by adding multi-line comment so how we can add multi-line comment in php we just have to write one slash then static sign and then we have to close this multi-line comment by static and slash now you will see that this commenting functionality will give us an edge to hide and avoid errors in our browser let's save this one out see there is nothing on the screen there is no error but if we delete this multi-line comment from here then this code will be visible to user and our browser our php will consider it invalid and give us error let's save this one out see now we have error on line 11 so this is the way you can add single line comment and multi-line comment in your php now what if you have to show something to the user using php you can do that easily by using echo command you can say echo my name is jazib and you have to put semicolon at the end let's save this one out refreshing the page see now we successfully echo my name is jazib in our php code you can also add uh, many php tags in your single document like this one you can add many echo commands right here you can say who is ali 
these are just for practice you can add many php scopes right here you can say what his age and also you can echo the simple numbers as well you can say echo 5 plus 9 plus 6 let's save this one out now we have four echo statements my name is jazib who is ali what his age and then we have the simple addition let's save this one out scene browser see now we have all the output right here so if you want to put your every output in another line you can just use br tag of html you can use br tag right here you can use br tag right here right here let's save this one out see now everything is in order so this is the way you can add php with html and also you can add single line comment and multi line comment in your php code